Tick tock. Plop, plop. It's another day downtown for Gary Reynolds. Lots and lots of cigarette butts. Um, trash, beer bottles and cans. He clocks in for the public works department. And lesser people might want to clock the people who litter. It's amazing what we find out here. <laughs> who he finds makes the minutes move quicker. Reynolds has taken pictures with Woody Harrelson and Dave Chappelle. Yeah, you never know who you're going to run into. We saw um, John Cena walking around a couple weeks ago. So it's, it's amazing who you, you run into out here. Most jobs have eight-hour shifts. Oh, yeah. But it's been a long time since Reynolds worked just eight hours. Oh, boy. Probably three years ago. <laughs> That was before he worked for the city. Now he works 10 hours a day, four days a week. It's nice having three-day weekends. It is. Reynolds finds it's easier to run errands on a weekday. There's less people around. You know, it's, it's nice. The city says at first, employees were worried about finding extended childcare. But Reynolds' boss says the people who work four days a week love it. It works great. For the most part, people are very happy. Morale's good and it is awesome to work four tens. In an initial review, the city found electricity and natural gas usage cut 10%. Plus, employees save on gas because they don't need to come to the office. Chris Daniels has been on the schedule for nine years. I love working here. Um, you know, we, we get to a lot of mobility with the jobs that we do, and it, it's awesome. You know, it's, it's an awesome job. The city found the four-day work week isn't for everybody. The News 13 investigation found the city is struggling to keep up. The city permitting office tested shutting its doors on Fridays, but it didn't work. It went back to a regular five-day work week. If we were only looking at sustainability, we would probably implement it in more departments. But it just, it, it, with most schedules of folks, uh, our, our customers, our citizens, our you know, any guest in the city, it, they tend to need that extra day to be able to get the service from the city. Assistant City Manager Kathy Ball estimates about 25% of city employees work the 10-hour shift. It varies from divisions within the different departments. The city doesn't want its scheduling to set anybody back. First and foremost, it needs to meet the customer service needs of our community. All righty. We met Reynolds on a Thursday, which means his weekend starts in just a few hours. Finally our Friday. 